Hello everybody, Mr. Gris here again with Games by the Minute. Today we are back in our playthrough series where I'm doing my tutorial-esque playthrough. I'm going to be explaining everything I do in detail. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be going to the third clear quest, now that it is a morning hour, and get that done. Let's head out. Here we are at this one, it's called Prowlin' Pete's. Um, the um, activation exclamation point is actually in the back here, because this is about where you're supposed to enter. It's pretty obvious, door is wide open, that's where you're supposed to enter. Um, every POI is going to have an entry point. Um, everyone is set up kind of like a dungeon, at least for the quests anyway. Um, there are some POIs that are just, uh, you know, added flavor for the world. You got a little bit of loot, but nothing special. Take care of her real quick. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start this up. As we go in here at first, you'll notice certain things like glass on the floor. Um, if you want, you, you want to try and be stealthy about it, you can uh, definitely take care of that glass and stuff. But you don't have to, I don't, because um, I'm not very stealthy. So I figure it's better just to wake them up anyway. So they can all come out and have a good chat. But this is a clear area, so we're going to go ahead and do some looting as we're going. Now, I find it's very important to loot everything in the first couple of days. Yeah, you really have nothing. So, um, also you want to keep a lookout panels like this. They usually have hidden loot behind them. Not some special loot usually, but still something to keep in mind. Oh, yeah. and then you also want to watch from dropping from the ceiling like that. That's like their new favorite thing to do is drop zombies on your head from the ceiling. It is quite effective. All right, we got some energy drinks. Those are good in a pinch if we need to get somewhere quick. Ooh, hey, we got, got some more med stuff. All right. All right, and we have a non-working vending machine. Um, you want to keep a note out where these are. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this on the map. And we're going to say broke vendo, bivendo. Yeah, well, however we want to say that. Anyway, I'll know what that is. Um, that way when we get a wrench, we can come back and we get steel out of this. And that's very, very handy to have early game. All right. Take this ladder up here, obviously, and we're supposed to go this way. Now, any paneling you see that looks like that, you don't want to step on it because it will go, uh, it will fall through, and that's the whole point, it makes you fall through. So, uh, when you get up to an area like this, you just kind of run. As long as you're not standing on the plate for more than a couple of seconds, it won't, you won't fall. So, uh, just be wary of where they are, and then uh, if there's a bunch of them, just run over top of them, and you'll be fine. All right, now make our way up to the roof. The roof has usually got the loot. Uh, also, usually got pelicans. Uh, there's one right there. They're pretty easy to take out uh, if you see them first, because then they'll fly right at you. Um, and you just gotta time it out right and give them a good crack in the beak, and they're done. And that was the last one of those birds. So we can go ahead and talk to the trader now. First, we gotta get the main loot area here. All right, now that we're done with that, we're gonna head back to the trader. Should be able to slowly get down the roof area like this and head on out to the trader so we can turn that in and get another quest. All right, now we're back in the trader. If you got the dupes, I'll make the time. Here's your pay for a job well done. And we can take shotgun shells or a two time scope mod schematic. That'll teach us how to make that, not give us that. So we're gonna go ahead and take the shotgun shells and we're gonna go ahead and grab another quest. Uh, this time we're gonna go with a fetch quest. I would love to give you a job. And let's go. I had a good feeling about you. Good luck. All right, we're gonna stop off at the house real quick and drop off some stuff. And then we'll head off to the quest. Yeah, no, nope, nope, nope. All right, well, we seem to have a bit of a problem here. We have a dire wolf underneath us. Uh, so we're gonna try and sneak away from the dire wolf. 
as quickly as possible. I don't think it's gonna work though. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I don't know. We're gonna sneak away this way. All right, and now we're gonna head to the quest. So yeah, that was fun. All right, we're coming up on the quest now. Looks like we're in this building right here, and looks like they want us to enter right about there. Take a quick look around to see if there's anything we can't just double dip real quick. And I think we'll double dip this uh, cobblestone real quick. And the cement. No, oh, and we're getting into zombies, so let's go ahead and start this up. Go ahead and take our double dip stuff here. And look at that, deja vu, Matrix. Alright, that one's down. Alright, found the stuff, let's go. Now that is all we have to do here, just grab that and go. That's why I like the fetch quests better, because they're nice and quick and easy usually. Uh, you can usually just kind of go right for the package. Um, now if you wanted to, you could sit there and uh, go through the whole POI and defeat everything and get the experience points for it and all that. That's perfectly fine to do, and you know, most of the time that's what I end up doing, but um, I'm trying to get to the bicycle as quick as possible. So, Alright, now last time we were here, there was a dire wolf uh, over in the front of our building here, so we're just going to kind of give this some space. It may have have uh, left the area, but it's always good to be cautious. All right, here we are back at the trader. We've got the amazing. I hope you like your reward. Definitely gonna take the pipe bombs for that one, and more jobs. And we're gonna go ahead and do the fetch quest. To the... We're always looking for some adventurous souls. Okay, be careful. And this says Old West Building or business. So this must be a different town away, maybe or something. I'm... Yeah, okay, this is the opposite way. So that must be an Old West town over here. That'll be interesting to see. Oh, right, and these right here are good for bone piles, or for bone. These are bone piles. So they'll give you nitrate and bones, and you need bones to make glue, and glue is kind of important. Alright, looks like we've got an old west town here. Interesting. Definitely gonna have to check this place out later. Looks like we're doing the grocery store here. Just do a quick look around, see if we can't find a little bit of a loot area somewhere. Alright, doesn't look like anything obvious, so let's go ahead and start this up. Now, this is just a retrieve the supplies quest. All we gotta do is grab them supplies, which looks like they're right behind this door. Yeah, they are. If you just go down already, thank you. Oh, we got that. Let's grab a little bit of loot and let's head up. Ooh, that was some good food there. This is Sham Chowder and it does a lot of good stuff. So that'll come in handy later. Oh, and we got our first drop. Go ahead and get that now while we're in the area. All right, we just made it to level four and leveled up. So we got two more points. Go ahead and throw those in. Uh, we're going to put it into Pummel Pete and then... Uh, so we went into Pummel Pete, and uh, then we're going to go into probably Strength one more time. Uh, no, maybe not. Uh, let's do uh, Sexual Transaurus one more time. How about that? That would work a lot better. Oh, and I almost forgot. We got to go ahead and uh, whoop, not crap, but craft a new club because we got better durability and stuff on this one. All right, she managed to give us an abrasion as soon as we dispatch of this gentleman. We will put a bandage on. All right, now we got rid of him. Let's go ahead and put a bandage on. That'll take care of the abrasion down to about nine or ten minutes, I think. Yeah, nine minutes looks like. Oh, and this one gave us 500 wooden blocks and some cornbread, which isn't that bad, really. Um, it's 500 blocks that you don't have to get yourself. That is actually quite a bit of wood. Uh, I believe if you go to scrap it, it's uh, 3,750 wood. But we're going to keep it because it's blocks that we don't have to upgrade the wood and all that good stuff. Um, now we're going to head back to the trader. Okay, and we are back. One thing why I like to get these first quests out of the way real quick is because after that you get the bike and traveling is so much better after that. Well, that didn't take long. Nice work. We're going to go with the 762s on this one. And we're going to grab another quest. We're going to go with the clear zombies. Someone who's willing to... All right, we're going to stop by at the house and drop off some of our stuff here. Alright, I'm just gonna toss out some of the stuff we don't need. I think we might be able to make our first pipe rifle. Let's go find out. Oh, we can. Alright, so what we're gonna make is the pipe machine gun, so we can utilize our 762. And then as soon as we get enough, uh, I think we're gonna need more glue, yeah. Then we can make a pipe pistol. Alright, now we got the pipe pistol. We're good to go. Now these will get considerably easier. But we still want to use our club until we get a sufficient amount of ammunition. We'll only use that if we absolutely need to for emergencies or, you know, too many zombies in one room, that kind of thing. Now occasionally you're gonna run into POIs like this. Um, 
and they are literally just a uh, open building area here and they usually got like a box of loot or something like that and nothing too terribly special like this one here has got this little uh area i don't know what you want to call it power station you just die, thank you. Um, but try not to fall like I didn't break your leg. But it's got little things in here. Um, there's a loot, loot hidden in here sometimes, sometimes not, but nothing much. Not like, you know, monumentally special of any kind. But as you can see, it does give a little bit of loot. And it's something to do along the way on your quests. You get up here, there, well, there was some loot there usually, but you get the idea. It's not really a, a POI, so to speak, but, I mean, there, it's not like a dungeon or anything, but it does have a little bit of loot. It's not like a lot of zombies to kill or anything. And uh, this building is concrete, so, I mean, you could use it as a base. But I thought I'd point that out because it was right behind where I have to go for my quest. All right, here we are at the quest. This is the Dead Rooster quest, uh, building POI, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have had problems with this one in the past not completing. Um, not sure why, but it has done it two or three times to me in the past. But, uh, lately I haven't had a problem with it, so let's go ahead and get this one started. I happen to know that there's kind of a rush of, uh, ferals that can come at you sometimes in this one. We're gonna go ahead and wake everybody up. Okay, doesn't look like we're getting any ferals. So I'll go ahead and take care of these guys with the club. Oh, there's a feral. Alright, go back to the club, finish off the little guys. How's it going, Edgar? Alright, now we go ahead and clear the area of all zombies like we do in every quest. Yeah, I also happen to know that this one has a doggo in the back. I'm gonna have to take care of him post haste. Alright, now we can jump up and go to the roof at this point. However, we got some more to deal with in here. And it's getting dark, so we want to get this rolling. Alright, and we got the loot down here, so we're going to go ahead and take care of that. And then the last zombie is marked up there. So we're going to go up there and take care of them. Hopefully it doesn't glitch up. Ooh, nice. We got a level 2 stone sledgehammer. Those can actually come in handy pretty good, too. We do have the iron one there, but... Okay, we got the guy coming right there. There we go. And now we can talk to the trader. But... I believe there is some loot up top that we want to grab before we head on out. And the easiest way to do that is to go to the ladder in the back. Um, it's a little tricky to get to. Um, you're going to have to um, utilize some jumping skills. You can get to it though. However, if you need to, just make a couple of wood frames. And voila, you can get up there. No problem. And there's usually buzzards on the roof. So you want to be careful. But it doesn't appear there was any on this one. So that's good. That's where we were. Alright, looks like there was no loot up there. Okay, so let's head back to the trader. Alright, now one of the things you can do is um, if you're looking to get back to the trader or something like that in a hurry, you can take the steroids right here. They'll allow you to have no encumbrance. Um, also, you can drink this and it will make you run really fast. So, we're going to do that right now. We're going to eat this because it looks like we are a little bit hungry there. And we're going to skedaddle as fast as possible. As you can see, way faster, um, but we only have that for approximately seven minutes, so we have to utilize it as much as we can. You still do run out of stamina though, so um, I usually just run until you get out of stamina, then wait till it charges fully up and then start running again. But everybody has their own way of doing that. All right, we are back at the trader in record time. I knew you had it in you. Good All right, and we're going to take some more 762s and another job. Gonna go ahead and clear zombies. I've got a bit of a problem. Can you help? Do hurry. I have a protection payment coming up. Now soon. we're gonna try and get this one done before the uh, end of the day here. Uh, we won't get it turned in, but we'll, we might be able to get it done. So we have this speed juice in us. We might be able to get there in time to get them all cleared out. But we're definitely gonna try. All right, the speed juice has gotten us here as quick as we can get here. Now we're going to clear out this place as quick as possible. Because of that reason, we're going to use the gun. We have plenty of ammunition. I'm not going to worry too much about looting. Just going to hit the important stuff. Or at least what I deem important anyway. We did fall through the roof of the garage, unfortunately. So we're just going to bash our way in here real quick. All right, let's go.
All right, and you gotta be careful of false floors and stuff like that. They like to throw those at you every now and then. Chances are, if you jump along the sides, you should be fine. Um, looks like we might want to go back down and around. Looks like we want to go through here. All right, we got one more zombie to kill here. Looks like they're directly above us. So, oh, looks like we got a stairway or something in there, probably. Up we go. All right, we got a bunch of loot and a uh, big mama. Looks like just the one zombie to deal with. And done. Now we have that quest done, but we're not going to be able to make it back to the trader in time to turn it in, I don't think. So, yeah. Okay, we still have seven minutes of run fast, but we are encumbered, so we might make it back in time, but we'll see. Oh, and actually, uh, I made a mistake there. We're not encumbered because we still have the steroids on, too. We still have two minutes of that, so we have a pretty good chance of making it, I think. If our stamina would hold out, that is. We have to make it before 2200, obviously. It's 2150, I believe, is when they close. Come on! Yeah, I think we still got plenty of time. The name's Here's your pay for a job well done. All right, we got a trigger semi or semi automatic trigger mod and uh, or needle volume three. Is this the one where we get the double pockets? Everyone needs shoes. Learn how to craft a variety of good looking versatile footwear. Yeah, no, we don't need that. We're gonna take the mod. Oh, and that was the last quest we needed to do to complete tier one, and we get the bicycle. Now you don't have to take the bicycle. You can also take the ammo, cra ammo crafting bundle, cloth armor, blah blah blah, down on the front. The wrench is tempting because the bicycle is transportation, but the wrench is tempting. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take the bike because that's the whole point of this. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab another job. It's buried supplies job. You it's usually the last one I do. I is the buried supplies. Um, we're gonna oh, accept goodness. that. I couldn't find Want to do that and job. then we're going to head back to the place, the house, and drop off our stuff and probably call it there for this day. End of day two. All right, so here we are back at the place. We have a fair amount of stuff, uh, nothing too special. Go ahead. This is usually when I try to get all of my uh, stats back up and stuff like that. And all right, then we got that all taken care of. We got our stuff sorted out. It's almost 2200, which is the beginning of the nighttime. And we got our pretty pink bike. I'd say all in all, it went pretty well for the second day. Also, the bike does have a storage. So you can put extra things in there if you want to, or just use it to get you unencumbered or something like that. But that's where I'm going to call this video. Thanks for that. Uh, call this video here, and uh, hope to see you in the next one. If you like what you see, hit that like button. Also, the subscribe button, so you can get notified every time I make one of these videos. Have a good one. Bye.